Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to jump into an Arc Ascended Mod Spotlight. I'm TDF Gaming here on the channel. We do Mod Spotlights, how to's, how not to's, and way too many. Why did he do that? Before we get started today, I want to say real quick thank you to everyone that's joined the channel over the last couple of months. Our end of the year goal was 20,000 subs. We blew past that and hit 21K, and we're on our way to 22. We might make it by the end of the year. It's cutting it kind of close. Thank you so much for joining me on that. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great holiday season. Like, comment, subscribe on today's video. As always, thank you to the patrons to make this whole channel possible. And if you guys want early access to any of the content, check out the join button down below. You get early access plus some other cool features. Last disclaimer, because I try to do this for all the mod developers, keep in mind that all of these are works in progress. It's still very early on in the ASA days. They're still learning how to do mods, not only for ASA, but also by bringing it to cross-platform. This mod is cross-platform. It's already got 1.1 million downloads. So I know that everyone probably knows about this mod. I'm one of the last ones to check it out, but let's get into it today. So you guys already know this mod brings Griffins back to Ark and back to the island thanks to the incredible mod developer Griff Hadar. Hopefully I'm saying that somewhat correctly. The mod is called Griffin, spelled with a Y-P-H. This mod has some really well done Griffins that have clearly been worked on by the modder and his team. They have added a couple of variations, a couple of different saddles. Let's go check them out. So real quick with the Ingrams, unlocked at level 30, the Griffin's workbench, the Pygmy backpack, the Pygmy goggles, and the Pygmy nest. And then at level 50, you get the mountain saddle, the mountain goggles, and the mountain nest. The Griffins are rideable without the saddle, but that saddle will give them the ability to ride two people on there. And then at level 70, you get the armored Griffin saddle, which is just the same as the level 50 variant but it has a little bit of chitin mixed into it it looks really good this is the aforementioned bench this just got added a couple days ago it's a really good looking little bench that has all the stuff for the mod inside of it you've got the mountain stuff there the goggles the saddles and the nest and then you've got the pygmy stuff right here the goggles the little saddle which is a backpack i'm sorry and the actual nest for that one as well the nest is really cool we'll show that off in just a second let's go and check out the griffins first so i just spawned in a few of them just to kind of give you a couple different color variations so you can see what they look like i think i've got the saddles over here on two of them yeah we got saddles on two of them so this is one without it. Looks really good. Everything looks better about these compared to the old version. It's very cool. I think also they have the ability to lay down. Let's go ahead and double check that. Here's what it looks like with just the regular saddle on it. So this one has a cool saddle on top. They did a good job on the textures there. It looks really good. It actually goes around the beak the way that it's supposed to. But you can tell with these, if you get really close to them, you can tell they put a lot of work into these. They look absolutely excellent, especially some of the ones with different eye colors. Here is the armored saddle. You can see it's got a little bit of chitin mixed in. He's got some arm pads, some knee pads. A little, bit of, a little bit of face protection there. There's also a goggle that you can throw onto it. Let me see where it's at here. The Pygmy, the Mountain Griffin goggles. So if we put this on the saddle and then back up, you can see he's got goggles. It looks absolutely awesome. I like it a lot. Very, very cool. The Pygmy has the same thing. Let's go check out the Pygmy. So we've got a couple of them over here so you can see the color variations. We did get a really cool little blue one here. These guys can actually do the breeding and everything. So you can actually breed these guys. There you go. That's what it looks like with a little backpack on. Now, these guys can carry artifacts, much like the otter. They also, if they have the backpack on, can carry multiple artifacts. So these guys are pretty cool if you have the extra backpack on there. And then I believe we put one with the goggles on it as well. Check out the goggles on this guy. Very, very cool. He's got very cool goggles. So that's a little pygmy guy. I'll show what he looks like as we're picking him up. Boom. There you go. Little griffin on my back. He doesn't give me a, I was going to say, he doesn't give me like a float ability, does he? There's also another griffin that's going to be re-added in the future that was available on the ASE version, which is the Arctic griffin. I think I'm saying that correctly. And then there's going to be another mod called Griffins Extended that's going to add different variations of the griffin. So really look forward to what this modder is doing with those. We'll definitely check those out when those come. Now, these little nests over here, you throw your little buddies on here. Let's see if I can nail it first try. We did not. All right, let's try again. It's like playing bulldog basketball. Okay, one more try. There we go. First try. All right. And when they get on there, you can see he's actually kneeling down. And then the nest will say active. So the nest is active. They also get increased stamina and health regen, I believe, when they're seated like that. So let's go ahead and do the same thing with this guy. I think it makes a little sound effect when we get on there, too. At least it did last time. Go ahead and cruise on there. Maybe. Did you sit down? Yeah, there you go. Look, it's actually seated. Very, very cool. And then I believe these nests help with hatching the eggs. The griffins ha lay eggs, and then they get hatched that way. So I think that's all the main stuff. Like I said, Arctic Griffin's coming soon and possibly another mod coming soon. So kind of a short video because it's kind of a super simple and easy to figure out mod. It's only got a few things in it, but they've done them really well. And that's kind of the difference between this mod and a lot of other mods is instead of making a catch-all mod, they really focus down on what they're trying to do well, and they absolutely knocked it out of the park. So huge shout-out to Griff Padar for the amazing things. Okay, we got someone interrupting over here. <laughs> but for all the amazing things they're doing with this mod, definitely huge credit to them. I did not see a Discord for it, but if you guys 
guys want the spawn codes, click the link down in the first comment below that will have the link to the actual mod page. There are spawn codes there for the items and for the actual dinos. It's got wild and uh, tamed codes there, so you can get both of those on that page. So definitely go check that out. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe. Huge shout out to the patrons that make this whole channel possible. Huge shout out to everyone that's checked out the channel and anyone who's subscribed over the last couple of months. I really, really do appreciate it. If you guys want early access to videos, click the join button down below. It just costs a couple dollars a month. You guys get early access as well as some other cool things to include emojis and other things coming up soon. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, this is a short one. I'll have another mod out later today. And all of these videos will have an accompanying short video with it. So I'm going to try to do a YouTube short along with the YouTube video for every one of the mod spotlights coming out in the future. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. Everything from here on out is just me trying to get screenshots. I have to make sure these videos hit 10 minutes or it hurts our YouTube algorithm. So sorry for the little extra at the end here. But this is kind of how we get screenshots anyway. So you can see that real quick as we're doing this video out. But yeah, unfortunately, a lot of the videos need to be 10 minutes for them to help out the YouTube algorithm. Super weird, but here you go.